Hey there, fourth grade mathematicians. It's Mr. Tang here again, welcoming you back for another week of math here on BCPS TV. Continuing with our focus on measurement and data, today's lesson takes a specific look at metric units of length. Do you already have any idea of the units that we'll be looking at today? This lesson is the first lesson for the week of June 1st to June 5th. Can you believe it's already June? Way to go, guys. You keep working so hard. Our objective for today is that we will recognize the relative size of metric units of length by converting from one larger unit to a smaller unit in order to solve real world problems. So let's go ahead and break that down. To recognize means to be able to tell or identify. We will be focusing on length, but specifically using metric system. Unlike the customary units of length that we looked at in the past, so we won't be using inches, feet, yards, or miles. Do you have any idea what we will be using? And we're gonna be able to do this by using the metric units and changing them to equivalent units of measurement, specifically going from larger units to smaller units. This will help us to solve measurement problems here in the real world. So what metric units do you know that we use for length? As you think about it, I'll give you some clues. Everything in the metric system is base 10. So we'll see a lot of 10, 100, 1,000. Let's give you some prefixes. How about milli, centi, kilo, and then the root word that we will use for metric units of length, meters. So can you put any of these together? Do you know any of the metric units for length? Let's turn to our friends at Pearson for more on equivalence with metric units of length. As you watch, think about the relationship between the metric units and how we can use that relationship to convert one unit to another. How can you convert from one metric unit of length to another? Let's find out. For the standing long jump, Corey jumped 2 meters and Gary jumped 175 centimeters. Who jumped farther? Metric units of length include meters, kilometers, centimeters, and millimeters. Of these units, which is the shortest? Select your answer. Based on our chart here, it looks like the smallest unit, or the shortest unit, is the millimeter. Millimeters are the shortest unit. Kilometers are the longest. The table shows equivalent metric measures of length. What do you notice about the equivalent measures in the table? Equivalent measures all involve 10, 100, or 1,000. So you can easily convert metric units using a multiple of 10. Step 1. Convert 2 meters to centimeters. Why do you need to convert 2 meters to centimeters? To compare the distances the boys jumped, the distances must be in the same unit. Which equivalent measures should you use? Select your answer. When looking for equivalent measurements, we have to be able to take a look at the two different units, meters and centimeters and make sure that we're directly relating the two. So which one of these has meters and centimeters? Use the equation one meter equals 100 centimeters. Multiply the number of meters, two, by 100 to find the equivalent number of centimeters. Two times 100 equals 200 centimeters. Corey jumped 200 centimeters. 
How is converting meters to centimeters like converting feet to inches? To convert feet to inches, you multiply the number of feet by 12, the number of inches in one foot. To convert meters to centimeters, you multiply the number of meters by 100, the number of centimeters in one meter. Step 2. Compare the lengths jumped. 200 centimeters is greater than 175 centimeters. So, Corey jumped farther than Gary. Now you know how to convert from one unit of metric length to another. Now it's your turn to try. Log into your Pearson account and complete the practice buddy 13-4 assigned to you by your teacher. You can use the table shown to help you in solving the problems. It's always helpful to use scrap paper if needed. Some of your questions will look something like this. For those of you unfamiliar with Practice Buddy, you can always click the question help for additional resources to help you solve the problem. Let's take a look at this question. Convert the unit 14 meters equal blank centimeters. Click the icon to view the metric units of length table. So we can use our table as a reference. What two units are we looking at? And what is the relationship? We have meters and centimeters. One meter equals 100 centimeters. So if we have 14 meters, we can multiply 14 times 100. That'll give us 14 times 100. 1,400. And when you think you're done, you can check your answer. Great job. Now make sure you take your time finishing up the rest of your assignment. Be sure to use your resources such as scrap paper and a table with all the different measurements on it. Take your time and have fun. You're doing such a great job. But when you feel confident and ready to move on to the formative assessment portion of the lesson, it can be found in your Show What You Know section in Schoology. There, you'll be prompted to complete an assignment that your teacher should have assigned to you. You will have similar questions to those that we reviewed today. For these questions, you can use your finger or the touchpad to draw inside the box to show your mathematical thinking. Make sure you take your time, use your scrap paper, and use your resources wisely. When you finish that, check out the additional resources page for more practice and review. There, you will find a reteach page, a center game, and an enrichment page. And as a reminder, if you have access, you should be completing six to eight Dreambox lessons a week. You first have to log into BCPS1 using your own username and password, then access Dreambox through your instructional and productivity tools icon. Well, that's it for us today, boys and girls. You did a wonderful job. And until next time, be sure to stay safe, wash those hands, and do the math.